What's so beautiful, babe? Sweet angel in the building. Listen, oh my gosh, y'all. The last couple of days have been super busy. And y'all are going to notice that by the content that I'll be bringing to y'all over the next couple of days. Hey girl, she's busy again. Back on it, it's like one week. I seem as though I don't have any products that came in to check out and review. But this week is back on the scene, you know. <laughs> I know our delivery people like, what the world these people be doing at this house? Okay, but y'all, we back. We back in the saddle again. I'm feeling good. I ain't gonna have no trouble getting through this video because I'm, I'm quite energized. I started it all off with, <laughs> so appropriate for today, my menopause tea. Y'all, my menopause tea. Everything that you would want in a tea and more. We've been talking about symptoms, issues with menopause, hot flashes, stress, lack of sleep, or feeling like you're sleeping too much, you're just tired. This tea that I have right here is a menopause support tea, y'all. I wish I had brought my packet in here, but I made the tea in the kitchen and I'm not about to get up. But let me just pop it on the screen right here. I'll also have it in the description box for you. So let me tell you what you're getting inside of this tea right here let's just get that out of the way first and foremost but let me tell you one thing it doesn't have in it caffeine it's a caffeine free herbal tea with a juicy fresh peach taste with lingering hints of like cinnamon that's a perfect tea it's a i mean to me a perfect tea for any time of the day and what it's going to do is help bring balance back to your body. And that's a win-win for all of us. But more than that, let me break out the ingredients for you so you'll know exactly what's in here just in case it's not the right tea for you because I know everybody ain't feeling everything. And that's always. So to help protect your heart, it has cinnamon in it. And for those night sweats, you have... Let me butcher this up, eleuthero root. And to decrease hot flashes, you have red clover in it. And the mood enhancer is the ginkgo leaf. Then you have licorice root, which is going to help decrease hot flashes and help to increase estrogen, so important. And then finally, it has black cohosh in it, which helps to increase estrogen as well as help with the dryness. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, now the good thing about it, it has a super good flavor to it, which is peach. I like peach. If you like peach, you'll love this tea. That's going to help balance out the cup and enhance the overall taste of your sippy sip. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. love it that's a good tea I want to drink it all up but it's still kind of a little bit too hot but anywho let's get to more stuff on today and that tea is why I'm feeling good because I did drink it on yesterday sometimes I miss depending on again I target what I intake for some of these things on how I'm feeling that day or what's about to go down and we're going to talk about that in a minute mm-hmm but I have two things right here, y'all, that I want to talk about before we get into the last video. We're going to talk about the last video. We're going to answer questions in the comments and get all in there and, and see what everybody's talking about. Because, you know, you know, we just can't forget about the good things that I locate and find and I've been using. And, you know, people want to know. So, anyway, I'm sharing. Two products. Pretty much the same thing. Just different scents basically this one is made by truly and it's called nice melons boob serum this is specially formulated cruelty free to condition tighten and prevent fine line formation on the chest and neck in a flash and i know it says boob serum but you put this on your boobs of course and they just say chest trying to be you know politically correct this is so amazing y'all i don't know how this stuff works together so grand to just give your chest area a nice amazing feeling check it out on ulta i do have the link in the description box 
and babies, you'll be glad you did. But along that same line is, of course, the truly acai, your boobies boob serum. Yes, acai, your boobies boob serum, y'all. I don't know where they get the names from, but it works for me, honestly. This one is formulated with acai, dragon fruit, and retinol to help reduce the appearance of stretch marks and fine lines for a youthful perky chest. Now, that is perfect. I love this, right? And to me, I love pampering myself, so why not give your boobies some self-care with these? But that helps to, you know, a lot of people are looking to help tighten that skin up on the chest area and firm up the twins. This will help in that. And menopausal boobies need attention too, baby. So I just wanted to throw those in there and let y'all know vividly about them. So I've been loving, especially this one, as you can see, I have used it nearly up and I decided to try the other one. Again, the Acai Your Boobies Boob Serum and the Nice Melons Boob Serum. And these are both by Truly. Y'all, grab this if you're looking to, again, help to firm up, to tighten, to kind of banish those stretch marks that you may have on your girls. Make them look smooth and this is something I can just say is self-care for the boobies and we talk about self-care for everything else so why not give the girls a special treat and you need to do your massages anyway uh-huh to to check on any lumps bumps and sugar humps okay you definitely need to do that so this will help you do it in a, a nice amazing refreshing way okay so if y'all are ready to dive into the questions, let's go ahead and do that. Because some of the things that I'm going to cover today, some vitamins, just different things may actually be able to filter into the questions and I'll pop them up as needed. Okay, so let's get to it, y'all. I'm always thrilled to try to dive in here and hit some topics that you all are really interested in now i don't know specifically if there's any questions in here or what we're going to be diving into so it's a mystery to me that makes it even more fun so first up hey jill 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 is actually one of my members that was one of the original ones that joined the membership and the membership in case you didn't know you can be a special supporter of this channel all of y'all are special to me, but if you want to go that extra mile, you can join memberships. There are three different levels that you can participate in. I'm not going to get into that now. I will leave a link down below if you want to go ahead and sign up for that. But Jill is one of my special members, and I really do appreciate you, Jill. And thanks for the hearts, because she knows your girl love hearts. Okay, let's move on. And I'm going to be reading these questions. So let me pop on me some eyeglasses. Y'all know I love my eyeglasses. I have a variety that I wear all the time. And honey, it makes life better for me. Okay, I don't know about for you, but at 58, I need to see. And I, I, I don't care how big I blow this screen up. I just have a level of I got to have my eyeglasses on. Like, I don't care what. So let me do that now. And these particular ones, they are from Fitu. Very lightweight, cute, tiny, non-obtrusive. Okay, let me cover my hair up because, girl, I didn't do anything to it except wash it and slick it down. And I said, well, maybe I'll do something different today. So let's get into the next person. The next person is Life with Shakae. And she says here listening, I'm glad Shakae. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. It looks like Shakae actually has a channel. So y'all go check her out because I see 567 subscribers by her name. Always good to have you in here. And there's your shout out girl. And we got Tina Fitzpatrick. Hello. Hello Tina. What's up? She said, hey, sweet angel, threw me some hearts. I appreciate you, girl. She was one of our winners from one of our previous drawings on the channel. So, you know, subscribing pays. Really, it does. And watching them videos, too. Hey. Next up, we have a Janice James. She says, don't believe after a year. My friend changed the amount of days, then went once a year, for two years then stopped 
Wow. Again, that just tells you right there, our bodies are a work of art. Nobody is anybody's twin. I mean, we can be similar in certain ways. However, to be exact, who knows? Who can pinpoint? You have to know your body, know what's different, know what's changing, and you know, don't you can't even take it for granted that, oh my gosh, I am going through menopause. Again, it could just be sporadic moments that you're having. Um, the next one up, oh, wait a minute now. This is my sister, Claudette Eldridge. What's up, girl? She dropped me some hearts. She knows I love hearts. And I look forward to hanging out with you tomorrow. We've been trying to do our best to hang out more often in 2023. Because, baby, you know, your circles are important. Nurturing those circles are important. And I love hanging out with her. And I think she's cooking, too. So, you know, that's going to be extra special. So, I look forward to that, Claudette. And I will see you then. Listen, we're going to move on to the next question. Well, we have Tina back. Hey, Tina. Tina says, I'm 50 years old today. Oh, my gosh. Happy birthday to you. I know that was several days ago now, but I still happy birthday. Happy belated birthday and more to come to you, Tina. Great to hear that. She says, I have been in premenopausal since I was 45 years old. I really would like my menstrual to stop now. Girl, it's a dream of ours for sure. And I know a lot of people on both sides are going to have maybe varying opinions. Some say, I want my period. I don't care. I don't want to go through menopause. I'm scared of what's going to happen. And then there's others that say, oh, honey. Let me stop this cycle right now. What can I do? Put the brakes on it. So, listen. I am uh, one of those ones that says, Yay, no more that time of the month. Don't want it. Okay? And Tina, you have generated a few comments under there. Geneva says, Happy 50th birthday to you. Super. That's so sweet. And you also have Johnny S. Who also has a YouTube channel. So, y'all check her out. Go subscribe. She says, happy birthday to Tina as well. She says, I'm too young for menopause for now, but I already had my child six years ago. And due to how much I suffered from the symptoms, I will rejoice never getting one again. However, these side effects are scary as hell. Girl, it ain't that bad. You know, we can handle it. We're women. We're women. We can handle it. She goes on to say, you know God is not a woman or he would have given us some mercy and stopped it at a certain year. It is so annoying and inconvenient. That's us. If you can deal with being a woman, you can deal with anything. That's why I say, listen women, y'all bear the world on your shoulders. And a lot of times you walk around like, I'm a-okay, I'm Gucci. That is amazing and I find it to be amazing and you know, for me, I can't help but tap myself on the back sometimes because it's got to be like, girl, keep up, keep it up, keep it up, keep going, keep pushing. You got it. You got this. You have to push yourself sometimes. And it gets harder as the years go by, but you're already winning. If you're sitting here watching this video, that means you ain't gave up yet. So let's carry on. Next up, we have Madeline. Hey, Madeline, how are you doing, girl? Good to see you in the comments. Absolutely, it is. Madeline states, thank you. Gave me a bunch of hearts. Y'all know I'm grinning. Love the hearts. I do. She says, sometimes need encouragement that I'm going to get through. Madeline, you are. You definitely are. You know, we are built for this. God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And if we are not that, I mean, we birth humans in the world, okay? We are built for so much. And I know as a sisterhood, yes. As the beautiful Bay Brigade, yes. We're going to encourage each other. We're going to put some smiles on each other's face. And that's what this is all about right here. So we got you, girl. And we appreciate you being here. Lachelle Duncan, hello, hey, how are you? Lachelle says she just turned 56 on the 1st. Hey, happy birthday to you. We got a lot of birthday babies here, so that is amazing. I hope you're doing well. Oh, wow, her next comment is next. And she says, girl, didn't have a period for 15 months today. Yes. Oh, 
Not today. No, you got to be kidding. That is that is ironic. It's so ironic. My goodness, didn't have a period for 15 months. Now, what did I say in my last video? If you watched it, Lachelle, all I can say is menopause is those females that do not have a period for 12 months, one year. So if it's been 15 months and it decides to show back up again, you're going to do yourself a favor, right? And go see your OBGYN, your doctor, etc., etc. Okay? Go check out yourself. Be there. Be there for you. Stand up for you. Go make sure everything is a okay. Do that. Okay? You got me? There you go. Next up, we have Monica Jacobs. Or is that Jocks? Or is that Jax? I don't know. Monica Jax. That sound is easy. That'll roll off my tongue. She says, my GYN told me that the bleeding during postmenopause was a small fibroid. She said it wasn't my period. Okay, and in fact, that statement stood out so much that I did go ahead and reply to her when I saw that because that is exactly why. It's important to see your doctor, your GYN. That's what I wanted to reiterate in the video. This is what I'm reading from my statement to her. Thank you so much for sharing that. Monica, we appreciate that because people need to know. This is not, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a GYN. I'm just a woman that's sharing and caring about my girls out there. And I want you all to also care about yourself enough to take charge of you and take care of that temple because that's important let's move on next up we have money 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 hey girl listen she says much detroit hello hey detroit what's up love to you happy wonderful year of the rabbit which represents pisces in china i love how you always come with some beautiful beauty tips great makeup tips and i'm loving the new glasses that you display have a blessed 2023 thank you so much and she goes on to state please tell us more on sea buckthorn if the capsule stopped the drying after the beginning of menopause in the vag area how do you keep it always moist wow now again that's a question hey that's a loaded question totally loaded but we're gonna get into some things about that right now as a matter of fact i have some sea buckthorn oil here now you know this can be applied topically as well as it is an edible oil so let's talk about that and also she wanted to talk about how do you keep it moist like she says always moist well let me tell you first first let's get into the c buckthorn oil okay let me tell you what this oil is all about and how it can be beneficial to you either externally and also internally so inside the skin the gamma linoleic acid is converted to prostaglandins c buckthorn oil protects against infections prevents allergies eliminates inflammation and inhibits the aging process sea buckthorn oil actually has so many amazing properties it's amazing for your beauty products and also your health so it does come in the oil and also you can get it in a capsule form now if you're taking it in the capsule form or even the oil studies have found that females in postmenopause stage that take see buckthorn orally significantly can improve their vaginal health of course everybody has heard that one of the symptoms of menopause is vaginal dryness not in everyone but many complain about it and that happens as a result of the body producing less estrogen now what happens with that that causes the tissues of the vag to become thinner and drier and unfortunately that can cause and unfortunately that can cause discomfort and even itching now don't put the oil down there unless you're using it for you know the outer area do not insert this internally period at all you can take it internally 
by capsule or the oil but with anything always make sure you consult your gyn before consuming this oil or the capsules make sure you do that my experience with it is basically using it for my skin which it does eliminate dryness on the skin it's a very good topper after you use your moisturizer simple as that and i have to scurry back to my tea because one of the last nor next to the last ingredient that i mentioned or herb that's in here is black cohosh which helps to increase estrogen which in turn will help with vaginal dryness so this is your other friend that you can definitely go to to incorporate after you've made sure that these will sit well with your body after you talk to your doctor try them and then let us know how it's working out for you and another item i wanted to talk about in the midst of the vaginal dryness conversation let's mention ashwagandha ashwagandha this one here i get it off of amazon and i will have all of the links below of course y'all know how i roll with that this one is the maximum strength now it is known to help with some menopausal symptoms some being arousal for others lubrication and so much more so check out also check out ashwagandha also for stress relief your mood enhanced immune and thyroid support amazing okay check it out link is below you'll be glad you did ashwagandha okay next we have raining glory hey girl what's up listen rainy glory she's got a couple of questions or statements she asks how do you deal with the yo-yo temps you feel at this stage of life i even feel uncomfortable wearing suitable weather clothes because of the thought of perspiration is there anything out there to nick perspiration and cool me at this stage of life i want to look and smell nice not nuked thank you for providing this forum in a mature and sincere way of helping us out sweet angel and johnny under there says thank you darling now can i just bring my tea back for a second when it comes to the hot flashes it was a couple of ingredients in this tea that i mentioned now this is something easy and simple that you can implement and drink every day so remember i mentioned red clover which helps to decrease hot flashes we also have in here licorice root that is also going to help to decrease hot flashes but also increase estrogen now these herbs or teas can be bought individually you don't have to buy the one that's got everything in there you may just want to sip on one specific tea if it's available alone but because you get every perk possible in this tea then why not try it also the eleuthero root in here helps with night sweats as well so you got a combination of several herbs that can help in the process but let's talk about something else here another supplement i have and i have n i know i know y'all have heard of maca maca is one of the top go-to's for hot flashes and maca has also been shown to improve depression symptoms in some postmenopausal women and if you're not able to take estrogen replacement therapy due to health concerns that you may have this right here maca maca has been shown to be a safe and effective alternative so there's something to add to your list and i hate to add things to your list because i know it can get expensive but we've got to learn how to invest in our health we've got to learn how to forego something that is not that important nothing to me can shy me away from taking care of my health whatever i have to do to make sure sweet angel's okay i've got to do that and i want you to be in that mindset too without you i mean you're important to so many people so you've got to take care of you and you've got to feel good and and feel like you're able to function this is part of it so check into that again don't pass by your doctor and not mention this to them 
ask them some questions about it if they know anything about it. If not, do go to some nutritionist who can help you have a better understanding of supplements and how they can possibly help in certain situations, okay? So next we have Denise Alexis. Hello to you, Denise. Thank you for your comment here. She says, thank you, sweet angel. I am going to be 54 this year. My period comes and goes and I am getting the hurt nipples and plenty of weight gain. She says, I rather hate the weight. Maybe I really hate the weight. I eat healthy and exercise. My hair is falling at the top and front of my head as well. I feel like I'm falling apart. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. Thank you for the video. It was very informative. Hey ladies, y'all know I love learning things and I'm, you know, I'm at the stage now I'm post-menopause. So there's a lot of things that interest me totally. But the other thing that interests me is, you know, how from one spectrum, one person has this and another person has this, but all together we can join forces to answer each other questions. I may not have all the answers. Somebody else may be mirroring the same symptoms that you're having. So I appreciate you all beautiful babes. If you can chime in, to talk to the rest of the beautiful babes in the comments if you see something that you have definitely experienced or have some knowledge on help them out share your thoughts as well but as i remind you again always consult your doctor or gyn in the process now i did a short video um uh, probably a few days ago and i talked about d3 with calcium d3 remember that to all of my postmenopausal women who are dealing with a little bit of weight gain, let me tell you something. I have recently started being consistent in taking vitamin D3 with calcium. For some reason, women who are overweight tend to have lower levels of vitamin D. It is not known whether the low levels contribute to obesity or whether obesity lowers the levels, but the association exists because obesity occurs within the context of a lack of vitamin D. It is often seen in people who also are diagnosed with osteoporosis. Now, studies have yet to demonstrate exactly why obesity, vitamin D, and bone health may be related. Now, many people choose to take vitamin D supplements, but talk to your healthcare provider first. I have some amazing news for you. Vitamin D boosts levels of serotonin, the feel-good hormone, which plays a part in appetite control and increase feelings of fullness after eating. Naturally, this could decrease your calorie intake and likewise your body weight. This is a research supported finding that shows vitamin D also seems to suppress the storage of fat cells, which basically it is a win-win. Now, I only mention D3, but along with this, there's another supplement that I take in order to make this work A-OK. -okay. So I'll just share just a little bit about vitamin D and postmenopausal health. Vitamin D is one of the key ingredients because a lack of estrogen weakens our bones as we age and vitamin D works to slow down and minimize the weakening process. And not only that, vitamin D also helps to stabilize our emotions and our moods, and it is widely considered to be one of the most important vitamins for menopausal women. Now, along with that, it is recommended to take K2. Now, vitamin K2 supplements also help increase bone strength and has the potential to decrease the number of fractures in women with osteoporosis. Now, K2 supplements have been shown to effectively slow down the rate of bone weakening after menopause. But what makes the puzzle fit together perfectly is taking the two 
together. It is now known that there is a synergistic relationship between vitamin K2 and vitamin D3. Taking D3 with vitamin K2 helps to ensure the calcium transported by the vitamin D is absorbed by your bones where it's needed rather than accumulating in deposits in your arteries. So it's important again to take these two together. But again, I'm not your doctor. I'm not your GYN. Please make sure you do consult a doctor and they will answer some questions for you regarding that. You mentioned weight gain. Now, the other reason why I brought up D3 is because studies have shown that vitamin D can potentially reduce the formation of new fat cells in the body. It could also suppress the storage of fat cells, effectively reducing fat accumulation. And I had briefly mentioned about the D3 in my last video or somewhere sometime. I know I've talked about a lot of stuff. This is one of the things that I have been more consistent with taking because Yes, the fat deposited around the waistline. Crazy, I know, but that's where it goes. And this will hopefully help, and hopefully I'll have some good reports since I've started back taking it regularly. I was kind of off and on with it, but now that I'm being more consistent with taking the D3 and the K2, hopefully we'll see some, some differences coming up real soon, along with exercise drinking more water, getting rest, eating a balanced diet. So I know this is going to be a heck of a long video, but I will definitely put chapters in the description box. All you will have to do is simply look in the description box under this video and click on what concerns you. I'll try to break it out accordingly, okay? So that you all will have an easy roadmap to get right to where you want to go okay i wanted to also mention oh these little drops right here my goodness from chroma herbal and i've shared with y'all before in an extensive video and y'all bought them out y'all bought them out because this is good stuff right here this is the goddess organic female libido and sensuality enhancer in this little bottle ladies this will help awaken your female libido. It'll also help support your feminine energy and sensuality with amazing ingredients, as we've already talked about, ashwagandha, ginkgo biloba, and even Korean ginseng in here. All amazing organic ingredients at the highest quality from Chroma Herbal. It is amazing. I tell you what, like I said, this really sold out the last time. You are talking about something that may also help you with your menstrual issues, menopause, balancing hormones, reducing cortisol, and also depression and anxiety. So check it out. Very affordable as well. The link will be below also with a coupon code or promotion code that you can also get one and also get one free. So let me give it to you. Check out the link below check out my code right here across the screen okay yes definitely and i want to just go back to address something when it came to denise's you know concerns that she had when it comes to hair loss now that is something that a lot of women experience even before they are postmenopausal. but check this out i have so many goodies for y'all man I wish I could just send y'all a bottle of this right here. Womanist. Womanist Active Glow. This is, you know, when it comes to all of the little things that we deal with, there's so many good products out there that I've tried that I do highly recommend. Womanist Active Glow is one of those. It says, look and feel better inside and out. Absolutely. This right here in this little bottle. One capsule of this a day for healthy joints and inflammatory response vibrant hair skin and nails and it's formulated to support you through menopause so it contains long vita pamela 
hyaluronic acid and biotin so what that's going to do for you I'll break it all out for you okay so you can check this out especially for hair loss I know there's a lot of topical things but we have to work internally with what we got going on when we're in the stages of menopause it just starts from within that's where the time bomb is so that's what we have to jump on it right there try this woman it's okay and on the woman is site believe it or not they have tons of amazing things for menopausal women if you go on that site you will see so many things that will trigger you to say oh my gosh i need this too so you know shop lightly don't don't knock if i got a coupon code i'll have the link below but if i have a coupon code i will share that with you to save you some coins on you know the things that you need so look down in the description box but again it contains biotin which does help with your hair your skin and your nails as well and just one more thing regarding her comment you know she talked about the painful nipples now there's just a few things that you can do generally it's going to be you know try to make sure you have on a comfortable bra first of all number one try taking a warm shower you know just letting the water run over them not let the shower head beat them also a heating pad is also good and you're going to be upset with me on this one but try to limit your intake of caffeine yeah do away with the coffee and the chocolate because a lot of women have have actually stated that those things will make the nipples more tender more sore okay and then finally don't smoke stop smoking these things are just again what we have going on is internal so if you do bad things bad things come out and we were trying to prohibit as much as we possibly can wow denise you gave me a mouthful and everybody else an earful that was a lot of good information and i hope that did you know hit somebody right on the spot that you needed some information on so hopefully all of that's helpful and we move on to baby precious always good to see your comments baby precious and she says oh i'm subscribed to all of your channels i also find myself checking them because youtube doesn't always put the notifications out i know right i put get all but it's an error i guess look forward to all of your videos thank you so much for everything and baby precious you are so precious thank you so much and i always look forward to actually seeing your comments too so i appreciate you for being active on the channel always thank you so much next comment from imoni ali she says very informative that was from the last video thank you so much i'm super glad it was helpful to those who watched that video i will go ahead and link it in the i cards as well as in the description box because this is a series and we're talking about it we want to find out as much as we possibly can so we're putting it out there for a place where women can come to to talk about it to discuss and you all again make sure you always be cordial and always if you have good information some insights from your doctor please share we'd love to know thank you imani shelly k grant thank you so much for your comment below she says i'm healthy 59 just started menopause eight months now for your information you usually follow how your mom went through menopause now that's good and that's very interesting let me tell you something yes i've heard that as well you know but i remember my mom talking about her going through menopause and this is what happens when i was born my mom was 40 yes when my baby sister was born my mom was 45 and when she delivered and went through all of her postpartum all of that she never experienced another cycle she went through menopause you know i guess through <laughs> through that stage she had no more juice left that was it that was the last pee in the dish and that was she was done you know so that was perfect i think you know because 45 years old having a baby i could not even imagine i mean i was a late one too i was 38 with my last one but 45 years old baby she needed to go through menopause and not touch it again because she was fertile myrtle 
<laughs> so that is her story mine being a little bit different you know I had my last one when I was 38 I think it was 38 yeah about 38 years old and I had full-on periods regular throughout the process until 50 when I turned 50 on March the 9th nine years ago almost now April no no cycle and throughout the rest of the year no cycle and I was reading I'm like is this true is this actually the end of it and as I was starting to watch videos about it you know was saying making sure you know it's it's the full 12 months before you get too damn excited and I was like oh my goodness I hope this is it and fortunately fortunately that was it so I'll be 59 March the 9th of this year so that's all I can say. That's all she wrote. <laughs> so I'm happy for that. So yeah, I've heard that you would usually follow your mom. And but you know, it's just so many variations now. <laughs> so it just depends. But that's a good observation there. So Johnny is back with us and she's, she's making a statement. Angel, this was great. I'm too young for menopause right now, but I'm enjoying these talks. Now, that's always helpful because a lot of times, you know, I know in certain videos, a lot of people will watch them because, you know, it's pertaining to them. But she's not even menopausal and she's enjoying our conversations. But it's something that, of course, women have to look ahead to the future. Like, what is it all about? So now... Thank you so much, Jenny, for, you know, just making that statement. We appreciate you, girl. We appreciate your moral support right now. We're going to be here for you, too, okay? Denmark, it's been a little bit of a minute since I've seen you, girl. I think you've been hitting me every now and then in the comments, but I'm glad you're here. And she just says, I love your sense of humor, but I love it when you bring the real also sweet sis. Love you much. Absolutely. Y'all know I do have a sense of humor for those who've been around. Y'all know that I'm not only here on YouTube, but I'm a musician. I'm a saxophonist. I do entertain on stage. So, you know, I'm bubbling. I'm bubbling and it comes out sometimes but you know a lot of times I, I in serious situations I know sometimes nobody wants to laugh they want to know the tea they want to know what's up but every now and then I have to cut loose because you know what is life without a smile gotta have smiles and I like that so appreciate your comment there also Denmark appreciate ya next we have Tia G in the house hey Tia G I don't know if I've seen your comment before previously or not, but I'm glad you're here today. She says, thank you so much for this series. I'm 53 and still learning. Hey, no matter what age you are, I promise you when it comes to menopause, there are so many variations that everybody, everybody learns something new when women start discussing and talking about things. So there you go. Next up, we have Bertie. Ivy. What a cute name. Any relation to Blue Ivy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's a sense of humor. It might be just as corny as ever, but listen, I got one every now and then. But anyway, Birdie, thank you so much for your question or your comment here. Let me see what we have from Birdie Ivy. Ooh, this is really interesting, y'all. But Birdie says, Sweet Angel, I really appreciate your YouTube channel. I am an RN. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I love to see and hear what non-medical women have to say about the concerns so many have but are not comfortable talking to health professionals about, therefore putting their health in danger. You are honest, genuine, and always refer them to their doctors. I appreciate you for your genuine concern for women in all aspects of their lives, from beauty, self-esteem issues, and health, to name a few. Keep up your good work. A thousand hearts out to you. Oh, that almost, that almost did me in, girl. Thank you so much. I'm getting me all emotional up in here. Whoa. Thank you so much, Birdie. That is so sweet. And I love what I do. I love my job. I love sharing. And I love bringing people together to make something wonderful. Because we all can use each other. You know what I'm saying? There is no one person any greater, any better than the other. We all can. We all can share. So that's what I'm about. And I'm glad I have this platform to do that. And you just made my day. 
Oh my gosh. Next up we have 1955 Dash. Okay, there you go. She says, Hi, sweet angel and friends. I'm 67 and married to my husband for 49 years. I went through menopause at 47. My periods just stopped at that time. I had no more. It was a relief, no lie, LOL. I had the other usual symptoms over the next 20 years, like dryness, painful intercourse, no weight gain, however, or body changes or mental hormonal issues. I felt great and was very active. I've always been tireless. Seemed like I was a lucky lady until 2020 and I began shedding my hair. I had super thick, very long hair all of my life and shed to about half its thickness in over two years. I didn't think that was normal. I know it can signal other health issues, so I went to the dermatologist and finally chalked it up to aging. Then in April 2022, I had a very slight bleeding episode, only once and gone. I went to my doctor as soon as possible and she sent me for an intervaginal ultrasound. It looked suspicious, so I had to have a hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy. I've heard of that, but I can't pronounce the word, but hysteroscopy, I'll say. So they can examine tissue samples. I got the dreaded phone call from the doctor within a few days that it was uterine cancer. Everything went quickly from there. Two weeks later, I had a full hysterectomy, including all surrounding lymph nodes. My GYN cancer doctor said he believes we caught it in time and he feels confident he was able to get it all. It was all in my uterus still and hadn't broken through the endometrial wall from what the reports said. I think I'm lucky and thank God I acted quickly. As soon as I had bleeding, I knew it wasn't a good sign and took action. I have to see the cancer doctor every three months for the next five years to make sure it doesn't pop up somewhere else, which is something cancer does, unfortunately. It's a beast. If I make it through the next five years without it showing itself again somewhere else in my body, the cancer specialist said I should be fine. I feel great again and pray it's gone. I hope my story helps someone in some way. Advice, trust your gut and get anything unusual checked as soon as possible. Blessings to all. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful, beautiful story. Oh my gosh. Woo, girl. Y'all get me full up in here. But this is a beautiful experience for me to bring us all together right here on the channel. So this is beautiful. Thank you for sharing that 1955 dash. Girl, thank you so much. You are a blessing to us. Thank you for sharing. And what a way to end today's video. I don't know if this was the final comment, but I'm going to leave it on that note. If another one pops up, I'll just incorporate it into another video that comes up about this issue because we're going to be talking about it for a long time. Like I said, this is a series. This is for women to discuss women things, okay? Women things. We are here for each other. And before I close out though, I just want to share a few more things that are helpful and are helpful in menopause. One here is chlorophyll. I have both liquid and the capsules. We are taking chlorophyll during menopause, perimenopause, postmenopause. This is what it'll help with. It's going to work as an antibacterial as well as an anti-inflammatory, which makes it great in combating acne and the breakouts that come with menopause. So this kind of like detoxifies your system, okay? And also when it comes to even body odor, armpit odor, but odor okay this really helps so try it out you'll be glad you did you might can toss away your deodorant who knows this i wanted to mention and also one more thing 
all the young girls talk about fenugreek for a lot of different things like making the good good taste good okay but for us menopausal women we want that too however when it comes to fenugreek and this is just the powder form i put it in my smoothies you can also buy the capsules which i'm sure is probably easier for everyone else to consume but when it comes to fenugreek it is a natural alternative to prescription-based menopausal treatments. Did you know that? Fenugreek has been known and has shown proof that it helps in the reduction of hot flashes, night sweats, and insomnia. Yes, fenugreek. Awesome. You know, it's so funny how when I got on my journey to do the best I could for myself, I had no idea about some of the products that I had. And now as I accumulate certain ones and I go back and I'm looking at things like you know what I had no idea it worked for that but you know what in all I can truly say that let me just take my eyeglasses off and get cute for a second that in my quest to get healthy or do better for my body internally really help combat some of the symptoms of menopause so that may be a contributing factor as to why I didn't deal with or have not dealt with a lot of different things that were more adverse that you know probably could have hit me if I didn't do what I did okay so it might be a little bit costly sometimes because I do experiment on different things but I said, wow, I've taken that or I've been taking that and I did not know it helped for that. But anywho, beautiful babes, I'm out of here. I've talked y'all, I mean, i talked y'all ear off. If you're still sitting here at the end of this, y'all, let me see what I need. What I need, I need hearts in the comments and let me know I got this. You got this for sure. Say I got this or you got this or tell my sisters you got this. However you want to put it. I'm Sweet Angel. I am signing out for now, but you know I'll be back to you real soon. So take care until then. Like this video if you did find some value in it. Please share it with a friend. Everybody needs to know. And I will see y'all on the next one. So please take care of yourselves. Stay sweet. And always share me with your world. Though it's easier to laugh.